Hey, hey, good morning, everyone. Dennis K here with Belize Islands Real Estate. Hope you're doing well today. Obviously, I am not in Belize right now. I am taking a morning stroll uh, along the canal here in Strasbourg, France. Beautiful, beautiful city right on the border between France and Germany. So a little bit foggy this morning. Cold, definitely cold. 24 degrees, so I got the uh, the hat on and scarf, I'm all buttoned up here. I got my coffee though, so thanks a lot for all of you who are supporting us with buying us a coffee. And uh, what I wanna to talk to you guys about today is some of you are suffering with the I might as well syndrome. Um, I might as well. You know, we, we put so much time into this house and so much energy and we have this home just the way we want it. We might as well stay here for another, what, five, 10, 15 years or whatever that might be. Or you could be saying to yourself, you know, I've I put so much time into to my career. You know, I went to college, I have a degree, I have a good job with benefits, and it's paying the bills. So, because it's paying the bills and I put so much time into it, the sunk cost fallacy, I just might as well just stay right here, right? But you know, having that I might as well thinking is gonna hold you back from so many so many experiences right so much more excitement and adventure life because the as might as well thinking can hold you back you know when i quit my job i was working for a large automotive company worked there for 12 years right 12 years good pay excellent benefits secure solid at least i thought it was secure i left in april of 2003 to start our adventure our move to belize and uh, i went back in november of the same year so what six seven months later the entire company had gone bankrupt. 420 employees lost their jobs. And the entire time before I quit, before I, I put in my two weeks notice, I was suffering from the sunk cost fallacy. I've spent 12 years at this company. If I walk away now, what's going to happen? I didn't know that my little side businesses would take off or would help me to make the move. And I didn't know I'd be getting into real estate, especially not real estate investing. And if I would have had that sunk cost fallacy, well, you know what? We already have our lives. We're comfortable. We're happy. We have good friends and family around. Why don't we just stay? We might as well just stay, right? So I know a lot of you guys are fighting this right now because you put so far into your life so much time and effort and work to get to where you are now. Your jobs, your businesses, your homes. You set up an entire life for yourself. So to, to step away from all that, to, to walk away on purpose, right? Not having it stolen from you or taken from you, right? Not having your, your business be a victim of COVID-19 or your, your house be uh, completely lost with a, by a tornado or a fire or a flood, but willingly, willingly, even against the advice of your family and close friends, that's gonna take some work, right? But let me tell you, man, it is absolutely worth it. You know, when I was working for my corporate job, uh, I would get a half hour lunch every day. And there was this little stream, this little river in this park that I used to always try to hit uh, when I was down in this certain area making my, my sales rounds. And I would buy a little sandwich at the corner store and get a coffee. And I would just walk up and down this little river thinking, man, you know, someday I want to have longer than a half hour just to walk and to think and enjoy coffee. This morning I woke up, got out of bed, and uh, looked at my calendar and said, you know what? My, my entire day is at my disposal. I have chosen what I wanted to fill my time with today. And one of the things I wanted to do is come out here in this beautiful canal, grab a coffee. Right now I'm heading to the park, one of my favorite parks, Parc de la Rangerie. And I'm going to spend an hour there looking at the fall colors. They have a nice lake, they have birds, it's beautiful. And I would have never been able to do this if I had that sunk cost fallacy that, well, we might as well type thinking. And so the reason I bring this up is because, you know, as I get you guys on these Zoom calls and talk about your plans, a lot of you are making the decision. You've made the decision in your minds, but now you got to put that decision into an action plan. You actually got to start moving forward. A simple step to that might be booking airline tickets, booking your resort, or jumping on a Zoom call to talk to me about your plans, or maybe uh, buying a piece of property. Simple little piece of property. It doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be your end all and be all, you know, oceanfront estate type property. A little property, maybe, you know, quarter mile from the beach, somewhere you can say, you know what, I'm gonna start with this, get the lamb, I'm gonna figure out the rest later. 
don't try to figure it all out for right now. You know, when Steph and I moved to Belize, quit my job, we had a little interim business that we operated, a little concrete decorative business, and uh, we used that in the states of Michigan and Florida to earn money to, to fund our first two or three years in Belize. I didn't know that that would then be replaced by working at a resort in Belize that sold fractional real estate. Then to leave that, I start my own real estate company, then to leave that, to go to Remax, then, 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 right? So, you know, all these little changes in life, if you just sat, and if one of those changes were to be, ah, we might as well stay here, do this, continue in the same old, same old, you know, I, I'd never be able to do what I'm doing now, which is, you know, living the life that Steph and I have always dreamed of. And the best thing about it is, is the adventure is just beginning. It's not over yet. You know, some of you guys, some of you guys are in your 30s, 40s, and 50s, and you're living your life like, like it's over, like you're done, right? Like, okay, this is it. This is the epitome, end all and be all. You know, I've reached it now. Now I'm just gonna kinda coast on until retirement and or death. You know, that's no way to live, man. You have a lot of, first of all, you just have a lot more in you, right? And I believe in you. And I got a text a couple of days ago. In fact, I need to respond today. It came up on my phone or as a reminder, 80 year old man, 80 years old, and he says, Dennis, I've been watching your videos. He says, I think I want to move to Belize. Can you help me? I thought, that is just awesome. You know, 80 years old, making the decision. His life's not done yet, you know? I don't know, what, what does he have left in his life? Five, 10, 15 more good years, right? If he's healthy and he takes care of himself, you know? He's, he's, he's not just going to sit in his old recliner and just wait for what would be an inevitable end. He's, he's taking steps, 80 years old. We're gonna Zoom call with him this week, see how we can help him. See if it's the right fit, right? Because I don't know, maybe, maybe Blaze isn't right for him, you know, at that age. Don't know what his circumstances are, what his health is. But I tell you what, there's a lot of 80 year olds in Belize enjoying the heck out of it. And they're still going out, they're fishing, they're diving, they're filling their life with exciting things to do. So if this resonates with you, if you're feeling this video, do me a favor, hit subscribe in the link below. Go buy us a coffee. We really appreciate that. Get us on a Zoom call. We'll see how we can help you start living in the dream in Belize or France or whatever you want else you want to do with your life. But, uh, you know, maybe we have some suggestions for you. Maybe some of the experiences we've had will help you think of ways that you can reach out and expand so you don't get stuck in this, well, we might as well syndrome. All right, guys, take care, man. Have a great day, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.